Hello everyone out there and here is our 2005 Chevy Cobalt, uh, five speed in it. See it back here in our kind of derby parking garage which has uh, Pap's old farm truck there. I think he's gonna finally sell it. But uh, yeah, this one here, uh, came across it, had aluminum wheels on it, still has a converter, although I think it's an aftermarket one, not as much money there. And, Got it fairly cheap. It does have some more uh, worrying, I should say, rust underneath inside, uh, in particular this right wheel. I'll show that when we get into it. But just a brief first look here, as as I always say with these videos, you know, you get a car that's in decent shape, the, the bumper up front, the plastic bumper, the rear plastic bumper, the headlights, the tail lights, you know, post it, you might sell some things. And I just had someone say they wanted the front headlights. So make a little bit of money. So we're gonna strip those off now. So you can see it is a small four cylinder. We plan on running at Venango, hoping they typically do, but hoping that they'll uh, run the four cylinders on their own. If there's enough cars, which usually they have a good amount, they'll do that. So just a first brief look here before we start tearing it apart. Don't necessarily think this one's a winner. I mean, you never really know. I think it's one we can have fun in. Uh, regardless and as I said got it pretty cheap runs good actually a little five speed so it's taking me back to my first derby so we'll just quickly look under the hood here so it's got the little ecotech motor in it I'm not sure if it's a 2.2 or not I didn't look uh, that's what the little Cavalier I had I think it's a similar motor I haven't really looked into it yet you can see all that big plastic stuff and everything will get out you know the air filter and all that stuff kind of narrowed down as much as possible but that's her start stripping some stuff off make a little bit of money back there we go here we can see the front is off bumper ready to go if anybody needs it the headlights were sold sell them pretty cheap but not only does that help somebody out but it's also getting me a little bit of money back so the motor we're now going to continue diving into it was thinking about waiting but i think we're going to throw this in here in just a day and a half tomorrow we got some ball games so let's dive into it now we're just going to take the plastic off here clean up the plastic around up here the wiring and that i'll leave to tie up till the end so that's it up front take off the mirrors we're going to get to the windshields here they've been heating up in the sun that helps kind of be able to get the windows taken care of and then inside power everything i believe all windows work so that'll be easier to slide it down take off the door panels just pop out the screw or the clips around make it pretty simple to get those off so you can get to the window screw uh, or bolt rather areas to unbolt those and the window should just slide out you won't have to break any of those same thing with these guys inside then we'll start tearing off the plastic after we get the doors and windows out again we'll break this guy back here no other way to do it there's no gel in it like the front we're just going to break it get the seats out and then we'll pull off the bumper the tail lights and inside the kind of a speaker system he had in this one clean up a little bit you can see it uh, had the spare tires right there brand new and you can see weird battery mount up in these cobalts so that's her so here we go let's get her ready for a stock derby in less than two days and there she is the doors and now the windows are out had a little bit of trouble with that front window so the trick <laughs> if you can really see here but these guys right there they're like a clamp that after you unbolt them they're still kind of stuck in that little pin there that little plastic like pin goes through the hole in the uh, window holding it in place even without the bolts so you got to kind of gently pry back a little bit again these windows will shatter fairly easy and then i just had to poke that plastic tip through and then the window popped out same thing with the front and then you just take these plastic rubber pieces off and around the window and it just comes up and out easy rear window so i tried to cheat i've done this before where just take the pliers and uh bend this out you might be able to get this window out because these these kind of ridges these guides are kind of holding it in there but this back piece saw how i was kind of struggling there so the trick is there is like a sometimes it's right here you can see it it's a bolt you undo it and this whole piece is now loose and if you have the window down it'll just tilt and pull right out this one though i took off this bolt you can see how it was still like clamped in so i had to carefully again the windows will shatter because there's no gel in them like the front windshield i had to carefully just lift the rubber out and then just kind of pop the window out and then pulled it up and out and then after that same thing 
the wind or the window clamps right there just kind of pulled out and then just lifted it out so that's it uh fairly simple and painless as long as your windows or your hand crank if it's power windows as long as they work or the hand crank works if they don't that's uh that's where this one is so this window i got out that one over there i'm not sure it's power and it doesn't it's not hooked up so we might just end up breaking it and then sweeping up with the shop vac so one more side and then we're to the back end and there we have it a little bit of an annoyance both the clips on the bottom as well as these screws that are up top here Let's see if i can show them as he's still on there those guys i don't have that particular it's so small, the kind of star one, I don't have that. And I wasn't worried about trying to get it. I just kind of bent that corner off. It still would work if somebody wants it. I mean, I'd knock a couple bucks off, I guess. But same thing with the inside corner there. They're so rusted, these bolts that are on the inside, inside of the fender, and you gotta pull this plastic piece out and get on top of it again. I'm starting to run out of time here. Is this kind of a last second? You know what, let's, let's flip her and let's run her here, so. Got that off, so now we're gonna, the doors are out, we're gonna pull it out back and we're gonna shatter a back window and get that front windshield off. All right, so this is how you break the rear window. You get your sledgehammer, possibly your smaller hammer, and you hit it. Make sure you have your gloves and your protective eyewear on. Break apart and make a mess, <laughs> but there's really no other efficient way I found it. So I'll go around now, clean this out, knock that out, and see we got our tarp under to catch most of it. We're back along the weeds here. I got a trailer being worked on there. So yep, finish knocking it out, and we get the reciprocating saw as well as our paint chisel in essence and our screwdriver to go at the front so clean up the back take the flathead screwdriver and my uh, paint chisels I call it uh, it's like a paint scraper for walls what well, works pretty well in this get under the rubber you want this to be heated up preferably but this will do it's out in the sun mostly the sun's setting as you can see Kind of fun, I won't lie. Get the shop back out. Try to keep everything in the car. See a little bit of splatters from the outside. And then, yeah, we'll sweep it up and then we'll go and clean it up. I start with the hammer and just like a paint chipper. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I call it a chisel. Uh, but we're going to start in the corner and kind of get under it. Usually start with the flathead screwdriver. Try to let it bake in the sun, get the rubber hot. But we are going to start trying to get as best we can under and along this edge, break it loose down to the bottom. And then across the top, same thing, break it loose and then down the side. And then if I can get all that, then I usually bring in the reciprocating saw and I just cut as close as I can to the dash. And then I just finish with the chisel going off and getting that bottom piece. It's got the gel in it, so, I mean, it's going to shatter, but it still kind of holds together as you're pulling it apart. And there we have it, a completely stripped of glass derby car. We just beat kind of the dampness. If you uh, have ever done this in the evening, like I have, and it got a little too damp, it is miserable. The water, the dew, just the moisture, everything, the glass sticks to everything, and it just makes it horrible. You, the car, to clean up. So you definitely want to do this before the moisture is setting in. So she is stripped out. Again, the uh, simple tool, hammer, just needed the sledge to break it, and the chisel there worked great. Got the glass door windows out. Front windshield came out great. So now we'll just take the... Uh, shop vac around the top of the car get all those shards and then carefully get as much as we can here and a little bit that splashed along the weeds even though we're along the field so that is her she is stripped now we're gonna pull her in to my father-in-law's pole barn a little bit of rain coming possibly the next day but we'll be able to work later in the night and not have to battle the dew so good deal 
So here's where we ended the night. Uh, struggled more than I'd like to admit with those rear seats, those <laughs> son of a gun bolts. Uh, tough to get to and then get them out, but uh, she is completely stripped inside. Just unbolted the uh, seats, put her back in there. The driver's seat that is, uh, I'm gonna leave that center plastic there. If it comes off, I usually pull it off, but if it's not really like easy coming off, you gotta get under the bolts or clamps or something in there, clips. I'm like, yeah, whatever, it's a stock build. Don't worry about it. Uh, I totally forgot this is a five speed, so there is no looping of the tranny line. We don't gotta worry about that. That's just in your automatic uh, build. You gotta worry about that. Uh, the battery lines, again, we're gonna spray foam in and around throughout here. Uh, but other than that, uh, pull these wires in, obviously, and clean up all that. But this is evidently a part of the uh, uh, throttle body there, and it runs to... Uh, I'll cut off that there and just put a screen on the end there where the air filter was. But other than that, that's it up front. But the battery, again, the battery lines are already... This car, the Cobalt, has the battery lines that run through, as you can see, all the way through the car, under this carpet, under the seats to the back where the battery is. So I just pulled it uh, back through the side here so it's not, and I'll clean up these wires too here at the end, but uh, it's gonna run right over there. I'll just secure the excess lines, but that's it. Again, it's a stock build, so that's that. Pull the airbags out, otherwise she's pretty much done. I mean, we have to get in our, you know, our derby sign, get in our battery box over there, but that's where we finished. Again, not quite as far as I was hoping. I was hoping to have my pattern drawn. Actually gonna do that today before we head to a ball game, so. Getting close.